Hi, my name is Wendy and I am a reference librarian at Grandview Heights Public Library and I'm going to be doing your adult book talk this week. Uh, the first book that I'd like to talk about is called Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, the author is actually a member of the Blackfeet Nation and tends to write mostly horror fiction, some sci-fi, some crime. Um, this book tells the story of a group of friends who decide to pull an end of summer prank on one of their other friends who works at a movie theater. They're going to drag in a mannequin and set him up and then just to scare her basically. Um, but things start to go a little bit awry when at the end of the movie, the mannequin gets up and walks out of the movie theater. So I, I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but really as you, as you go through the book, you start to wonder, is this, is this something that's really happening? Is this like one of the friends like having a mental breakdown? What what actually is going on? It's it's very chilling. I don't really read much horror because honestly, as a child, I read a book and it scared me to death and haven't really read horror since. But I try to read a variety of things and I really did enjoy this. So Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. The next book that I want to talk to you about is by Lauren Willig. It's called Band of Sisters. This just came out um, last month or maybe I actually think February. And um, Lauren Willig has written a series of books um, called the Pink Carnation series. And that ended a few years ago. They were mostly a little romance, a little kind of Scarlet Pimpernel, Napoleonic War spy fiction. Um, since then, the author switched over to more um, historical fiction. And that's what the case is with this. It's about a group of women from Smith College who um, go to Europe during World War I to help the Red Cross, to help the soldiers over there. Um, it is really something that happened. Each story, um, each, excuse me, each chapter starts with a letter home from one of the women in the group. There's about 20 of them. Um, there are a couple main characters, though, Kate, who, Kate Moran, who um, she got into Smith on a scholarship and was never really accepted in a lot of ways. So she's feeling sort of out of place being here at all. Um, it, it's just a wonderful take on history. You don't, we don't really get a lot of so many books come out about World War II history. We don't get as much about World War One. So this was really interesting to me, just learning the historical aspect behind what this group of women did pr pretty much as being pioneers. Um, I also really recommend the audiobook of this. It's read by Julia Whalen, who is my favorite ebook reader. Um, she does a lot of different things. And basically if it's a book that she reads, I will listen to it no matter what sort of, whether it's history, sci-fi, it doesn't matter. I will listen to it if she's reading it. So again, this is Band of Sisters by Lauren Willig. The last book that I want to talk to you about is by Sarah J. Moss. It's called House of Earth and Blood. It's part of the Crescent City series. This is the first book in the series and it just came out last spring. Um, the second one isn't out yet. I've seen dates that it's coming out at um, towards the end of this year. It's going to be a three book series. Um, Moss is mostly known for her um, young adult series, um, but in this case, this is her first adult novel. I would call it probably um, urban fantasy. It takes place in a world that's sort of similar to our own, that, you know, they have cars, they have cell phones, um, you know, people go out to clubs, things like that. But at the same time, um, there are humans, and then there are also angels, and there are fae. And it's, it's a very political world that they live in. Um, there's all kinds of different classes of people. People are treated different ways based on who their parents are, which is not unlike our world too. But um, it's one of the things that Sarah J. Moss does so well is world building. And there is a lot of that in this book. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, I really recommend this. I also recommend her other books as well. Um, so again, those are the three books that I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope you check out one of them. Hope one of them sparks your interest. Um, also, if none of those are really for you, we have a service called Discover Your Next Read available through our website at ghpl.org. You can log on there, answer a few questions about what kind of books you like, what you don't like, 
and we can get you a personalized list of things that might be more to your taste. So have a great day. Bye.